Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Spelkers e-learning academy. So today we are going to create a video for elastic search. So this video will contain like uh, how to write a uh, grog filters, how to use regular expressions in the grog and how to add it into your log stash filter. So whenever you try to push some data from your like forwarders to your indexer so indexer will be like elastic search node and your forwarder will be file bit so whenever you want to monitor any of your data from any of your remote host you will be using file bit file bit will be sending the data to your elastic search node via log stash filter so today we will see how to create a log stash filter using grog expression and regex inside it okay so let's get started okay so uh, harish uh, as uh, you know right yesterday we tried to ingest some data into elastic search but uh, we did that without using filters so whenever we do not write filters in log stage the whole data which we'll get in elastic search will be as it is as it got generated but in real time scenario we do not want such kind of conditions so in real time scenario we want our data to show all the fields all the valuable fields which might be helpful for us to create some charts to, to create some dashboards reports likewise so to learn how to write filters uh, we need to run regular expressions that is Grog debugger. So currently we have one website grogdebug.herocoapp.com. On this website we will be able to write our filter. So before adding it to the uh, logstash filter, logstash.com file directly, we need to write all our grog values over here. So let me uh, start with the basics. Okay. So one scenario we have is here, the syntax which uh, we will use. Syntax column fill name. Okay. So whenever you try to extract some field from your data, uh, at that time we are going to use this kind of syntax. For example, if uh, we are going to use any IP address, so that IP address will look like, for example, 32.15.16.20. Uh, 32.15.16.20. Uh, so this is nothing but IP address. And let's say we have uh, some data with us in which IP address is there. For example, this kind of data we have. Okay, so from this data, we want to extract IP address. Then this one is method, either get method or post method. Then this one is one path slash index.html. This one is number of bytes, and this one is duration in seconds. So whenever the data will get generated in uh, So whenever we generate our data inside any servers, so that logs, that logs will look basically like this. It will not provide each and every fields in proper manner. So that what we need to do is we need to identify each and every component of our logs. So uh, let's say our logs is looking uh, like this. As we can see, the logs will always be generated in this manner. So what we need to do is we need to identify like what are the fields that will be useful for us and according to the usefulness we will be trying to write our query. Now this is one syntax. Let's say currently I want to remove all these things. Okay. And 
I want to give this field name as a IP address or client IP. So as I uh, showed you the syntax. So here, instead of syntax, we need to write the type of our data. For example, these things is IP address. So what I need to do is instead of syntax, I'll give capital IP and field name. Field name is client IP. Let me remove this and client IP. And once you write, once your query is correct, in output you will be able to see client IP and in value you will be able to see the value which you want to extract. With this few other data will be provided by uh, this website directly, but we will not be bothered about all the things. So this is the basic syntax here. You need to give instead of IP in capital. If you are using any word, any path or whatever you are using in capital, you need to give type of that specific word. And after colon, you need to write the name which you wanted to give to this specific word and percentage and all the things should be in curly brackets okay. so this thing is done let's say I have one number and the number is uh, for example 3.15 as you can see the output uh, is already written over here but it will show that no matches why because the type is not be able to match with my input what I need to do is instead of IP I need to write number so once I read this and here suppose it is duration this number is my duration so once we read this you can see in output duration is there and as a value 3.15 has been shown let's uh, check one more example for example uh, any word i want to write like uh, let's say uh, kashmir kashmir right now kashmir is basically one kind of word but in my field output i want to show that kashmir is nothing but one state of india so what i'll do is instead of number as this is world right so what I will do is I will write word over here and here I'll give well a name of the field that is states and you can see in output state is shown in Kashmir is there so whatever the fields it is showing over here in Kibana it will be shown in extracted fields and all the values will be shown in right side And uh, now as of now you will think like how will I come to know whether these things will be known as word or IP or how to give name like path. So we have uh, one uh, one thing is there which is given by uh, which is there on github. Uh, let me share this with you. Not able to share this. Uh, let me open it first. Yes. Okay. So once you uh, get this link, and uh, you need to go to uh, AWS Java. Grok pattern. So we have Grok pattern over here. I'll directly give this link to you. Yeah. So this is the exact link. And uh, now here you can check like uh, what all the things like what you can give this uh, word a particular name. For example, 
either this is a word or either this is number ip how will i come to know then you uh, already many patterns has been given over here that we can check for example for path we can use things like uri param uri path uri host then if you are going to use month somewhere then we can use month month num month num to month day if you are going to use work with date then we can go for year hour minute likewise so once we we'll start working with these things slowly slowly you will get idea like how to identify the things and uh, let me show you one full example uh, let's say okay uh, okay so we'll start from here okay so uh, got it understood till here or any doubts yeah got it okay yeah, yeah. okay now this is a logs which is generated from one of our servers and according to our clients he wants us to write regular expression in which this should be shown as ip get should be shown as method like get or post index html should be shown as path and this is number of bytes and at the end it is duration but once the log is generated we can see that nothing is mentioned properly so for each and every dif different different words we need to give our own name so let's start with the ip ip colon um, client ip then what we have is a space in between these two things so whenever we get space between any two things so in regular expression we need to write it like slash backslash and s so space here also it is working instead of this if you give one space only and start writing for other things that will work but the best practice is always a uh, mention space by using backslash and s it means space has been covered now we can move with another one that is get let's see a uh, percent and uh, word and the method uh, as we can see in output we can see method equal to get now moving forward again we are having one more space so let's give slash s and and this is nothing but one uri path so what i am going to is we are going to write uri path colon path sorry i forgot to write percentage and we can see in path we are having slash index dot html moving forward we are having one space remove this now currently we have number so this number is nothing but the number of bytes so what i'm going to do is percent two brackets question here yes uh, in url slash is also there right so suppose if we do not want to include slash in url so in that yes. case we need to escape character for slash right yeah so how we will do it is uh, let's say instead of uri i will use word okay because i think okay. index dot html will be counted inside words and to remove that slash we can use this and if these things is not working in regular expression it will work okay so we are having one more method in which we will be able to extract her specific words okay okay so let's move it back to uri path okay then this one is number so number colon uh 
bytes for us and we can see in output bytes equal to 15824 moving to the end slashes percent and this one is also number so number colon uh, that is duration for us okay now in output we have duration that is 0 0.043 bytes that is 15824 path which is slash index html method which is get and client ip is 5532441 now grok has been written now how to add these things in our uh, filter so uh, let me show you in like basic example uh, notepad values uh for example yes this one is our basic pipeline file new okay so this one is our basic pipeline as of now as we all of you are aware with things uh this thing said what is input input is nothing but port number 5000 and output is going to elastic search directly where it will be able to create one index new that is index a demo index filter and elastic search host and local host 9200 so this is nothing but uri of elastic search and std out codec ruby, uh, ruby debug as i showed you yesterday if your pipeline is working once you start file bit in pipeline output it will show you all the fields all the logs which is there in your file so that's why we are using standard out plugin to see our output in pipeline directly without going to kibana okay so now uh, we have written these things uh, and this is known as grok filters so what we are going to do is in filters we will write grok and two curly brackets here you need to write match equal to and and we need to copy full and we need to paste it in between these quotes let me check uh, yes we need to match and message equal to yeah so now whenever you want these things to use in your elastic search in log stash this message is nothing but the name of field in which your message will be there uh, i haven't started kibana yet uh, once i start i'll be able to show you that whatever message you are giving to kibana whatever logs you are giving to kibana it will divide into small small partitions and the whole line will be stored in one field that is message so that's why we are comparing these uh, grok solutions with our message fields Okay. Okay. Uh, so clear. Hi, Sangeet. Uh, good morning. Okay. Uh, Naran. Uh, yeah, Naran. Clear yeah okay harish okay okay so this was a uh, one type of pattern in which what we'll do is we should know from starting that these things is ip this is my method this is my path this is number or whatever if you we do not know we can easily start from here 
but as uh, umesh was asking like uh, if we want to remove slash and we do not want these things in our output then how will we able to do this so for that we have one different kind of regular expressions so uh, i am going to remove this i am going to remove this okay mm. so for that regular expressions we need to follow few rules and the syntax will look like this uh, let me copy it yes so the basic syntax will look like this which is a little bit different from previous one here you need to give the name of field whatever you want to see in your output and here we need to give the pattern it means what pattern is there in our world so let's say uh, i have uh, one ip address is there let's start with ip like for example 55 23 21 and 45 so this is my ip address but i do not need to know or i do not need to check from this page whether this is ip address or whatever it is because this is little bit different kind of regular expression so this might be useful when you were not able to work with previous one okay so let's uh, for example i want to give this field name as a client ip now pattern i need to write over here so we need to think one thing let what all the things are there as you can see already it has made one field that is client ip but inside it is showing empty so once we add few things over there then it will be able to take it will be able to extract that particular field so let's add pattern over here so before adding pattern you just need to know few things for example what whether it is containing only digits or any other dots or any other arrow underscore or anything so here in our pattern we can see it is containing few digits and in between these digits we are having dots so how we will write these things we need to use this bracket and here for digit we are going to use slash d and for dots we are going to use slash dot then at the after this bracket we need to get add plus sign and you can see the output is giving the whole ip address because it is covering this dot and all the digit it means there are eight digits uh, total and four dots are there and by using this kind of regular expression we are covering all the dots and all the digits getting me around yeah so uh, i think sangeet has uh, joined recently so sangeet you want me to give like uh, again basic idea to you in 5 minutes because otherwise uh, these things might go bouncer to you yeah okay uh, so let me uh, quickly finish uh, from starting okay i'll take 5 minutes so uh, why uh, as uh, you know already why we need to write this regular expression and filters because yesterday we ingested some data into our elastic search so uh, at that time as you have seen whatever logs will generated from our server it will be directly thrown into elastic search without any kind of modifications but we do not want these things in production because we want to extract some valuable things which are present in our logs and to extract the, uh, those fields in log stash pipeline uh, one more joined uh, dinesh is there okay so to extract those kind of valuable fields we need to write our filters so this filters we are basically going to use uh, this website that we have that is grok debug herocap.com so till now we have seen two kind of filters so let uh, let me show you the first one okay so the syntax hey guys uh, thank you for watching the video and uh,
this will be continue in our second lecture too so subscribe our channel for more videos and we'll keep you updated on everything which we create in elastic search so we are going to create a complete filter in our second video so please subscribe and let us know if you have any queries thank you guys thanks for joining the lecture